Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha, Tasmai Sri Gurave Before we understand the secret of Karma Yoga, let us understand first, what is Karma? Action plus a sense of doership is equal to Karma. If some action happens and there is no doership, that I am doing, if this notion is not there, then it is not a karma. For example, I am the victim of husbands and wives. Whenever they come to me, they have got only one thing. If it is a husband, he will complain about the wife. If the wife, complain about the husband. So I am a international complaint box. <laughs> So, in one of our retreats, first night over, next day morning, one couple came and Swamiji, you have to tell something to my husband. I said, what should I tell him? He snores a lot at night. He snores so loudly that I cannot sleep. Then what do I do? You tell him not to snore. Then what do you do? I tell him, you snore too much, don't snore, I wake him up. And when I wake him up, he is very cool. He says, I was not snoring. And again goes back and continues, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Kar, kar, again starts. So what should be done? I said, look here mama. I agree with him, he does not snore. I know you always take the side of the gents, not the ladies. I said, yes, that is the manufacturer's defect. <laughs> I can't help. It is like this. See. Then I told him, ah, I said, look here, the one who snores is not your husband. Because when he is snoring, he is not identified with the body. And because he is not identified with the body, he is not even a human being. Forget about your husband. And therefore, when he says, I am not snoring, he is right. See, friends, any action without a doer behind does not become a karma. Like you must have done Puja Panditji, he will be first of all giving you some rice or flour and little water and then you have to take the sankalpa. Mamo Partha Samastha Durita Chedwara, I am the son of so and so and uh, belonging to such and such time and such place and Amok Amok Karma Karishe. Unless the sankalpa is done, karma does not happen. Therefore, what is karma? Action plus a sense of doership is equal to karma. Be very attentive. We will go step by step. Now, whatever we do in our life, there Mr. I is associated. And this is how the parents become miserable because of the children. See? That is the only reason. Because the parents think, I have looked after him and I looked after him and I did so much for him, but they don't listen to me. This is a totally wrong concept. See friends, what do we do to look after our children? Every morning do we get up and pull them half a centimeter and then leave them? They grow even without parents. But we have this wrong notion that I have done so much for somebody 
and because of that karma is born and because there is a karma there is karma phala the result of your karma and thus we get entangled in our own foolishness so the first step to understand the secret of karma yoga is find out can we live in this world without the sense of doership you know this principle of karma i learned from one small child not from the scriptures what you can learn from your own experiences of life you can learn from nowhere and those who cannot learn from their experiences of life even god cannot teach them see we have to learn so when i was in somebody's house i don't have house so i stay in some people's house today also i went to somebody's house and nicely snored and came out there were three persons three who who came with me actually there should have been four but i don't know how they managed to bring me three of them so they went for a walk and i was sleeping nicely all were tired but being a swami i get the special treatment <laughs> and those four three went around and somehow passed the time and came and tired so i told him i grant you permission to sleep in my lecture <laughs> <laughs> so that you don't have to feel bad take the revenge so this child was a terrible monster awful and i was staying in one room he will come every now and then and check over me swami ji what are you doing swami ji what are you doing so the best thing i thought not to talk and respond to him see never mind so one day they all went out somewhere and when there was nobody at home i was alone ekameva dvitiya somebody came and said swami ji excuse me uh, these are the things to be given to this people i will leave it here and go will you mind i said no as long as you don't ask me payment i am okay <laughs> because i got certain principles i never give money to anybody i don't mind accepting but i don't give <laughs> you have to leave your own principles so he gave some bag and one bottle of oil and after some time evening time these people came home my host and the rakshasa also came the moment they came he first came in my room and the moment he came i said my god now he's going to eat my head so i took the book in front of me and watching him what he is doing so he saw something new he opened that bag found something spilled then he took that bottle of oil tried to fill and it was you know totally down and the carpet was wet because of the oil and i was watching that I didn't say anything. Carpet up, na, thodi tha. Why worry? You have to protect yourself. No, not the carpet. So he shouted, "Dadi ma, dadi ma, look here. Our maid servant, what she has done." And I was so shocked. And the dadi ma came. He, dada, dadi are those. who recognize the stupidity of their grandchildren as wisdom <laughs> they are called as dada dadi because they have never loved their own children they only punish them and therefore the children also troubled the parents and that is why you know dada dadi nana nani why they love the grandchildren so that they can spoil them and after the grandchildren are spoiled they take the revenge on their parents this is how the technique is <laughs> so the grandchildren the grandchild shouted dad uh, nani ma dadi ma see our servant has what she has done dadi ma ke what happened mera krishna what happened see he she has spilled everything in swami ji's room i have seen with my own beautiful eyes with glasses 
that she, he has done that. And he was so confident. She has done it. And then Dadima started scolding that girl. She said, I have not done it. I don't know also who has kept it here. Do you think my Krishna like child is telling you lies? <laughs> that day I learned one principle. <clears throat> Even the child knows. If I have not done, the karma follow will not come to me. See? Recognize this principle. Whenever we are disturbed and miserable, it is only because I have done this thing, I have done this thing, I have done this thing. What can we do in this world? And do we have freedom? See? When we were born, were we asked, asked by anybody? Excuse me, you are being born in Honolulu. Nobody asked us. We are just pushed and we fall in Pata. Like a squirrel. And thereafter, we are taken out of this world. Has anybody ever asked us, excuse me, you are transferred in the body of a donkey? Nobody asks. We are just lifted. So our arrival and departure from this world is not in our hands. Do you think in between we have any freedom? But we have that arrogance. I have done this thing, I have done this thing, I have done this thing. The net result is we start suffering. See friends, the secret of Karma Yoga is this. Let us act and not react. Normally, we react. In reaction, there is a strong ego. See? And what happens in reaction and how the reactions come? Reactions come as default settings. You know, in all our computers, we have got default settings. <clears throat> in one of my computers, I had set it. The moment it opens, Ganesh Ji comes. And then, <clears throat> one shloka comes. So there was one old 78 not out. He was watching me. That, uh, Swamiji, uh, you do computer? I said, yes, I do computer. Uh, then I just started it and uh, it came, default settings. Oh, your computer is also spiritual? I said, yes, he also realized. <laughs> Not only. But my son's computer doesn't say like this. I said, he is not spiritual. <laughs> he is spirited. <laughs> See, we have default settings in our life also. What is the default setting? If I am a husband, the cause of my misery is my wife. Very simple default city. If I am a wife, the cause of my misery is this Dumbo. <laughs> if I am a parents, the cause of my misery is my children. If I am a child, the cause of my misery is this damn Hitler dad. We are all set. As a result, we are all the time focusing our attention on others. So what is the lifestyle of a husband? Try to improve the wife. Where Bhagwan Rama failed, <laughs> will you ever succeed? But you want to improve the wife. One day, one husband told me, before his wife. I mean, my wife is so dumb. I don't know what I should do. So that wife was feeling bad. I said, yes, I agree with you. She is dumb. So I mean, you also call me dumb. I said, yes, had you not been dumb, who will marry this super dumb? <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy. <laughs> See, we are all struggling to improve the world. See, 
भगवदगीता से उद्धरे दात्मनात्मात्मा अवसाद वी आर हियर फॉर अवर इवोल्यूशन द वर्ल्ड इज ब्यूटिफुल देर इज नथिंग दैट वी कैन इंप्रूव अपॉन इन दिस वर्ल्ड परफेक्ट what is the most important thing is we have to improve upon ourselves see friends therefore when we are living in this world let us find out are we acting or we are reacting if we react it is the strong i ipad iphone so i i i i very strong i and such strong eyes are they themselves are miserable and they make everyone around them miserable such people are lonely in the crowd also because very strong i see so if we want to stop reacting and start only acting be attentive when an actor does acting on the stage he appears to be doing something but he doesn't do anything see in a drama one terrorist came on the stage took the gun and there was another person a south indian with a lungi and a newspaper ready and the terrorist came and he shot bullets 1 2 3 4 5 what do you want no i don't want i don't want not to i am out you want to drink <laughs> <laughs> so when <clears throat> that terrorist came he shot bullets He is acting on the stage, tap 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 tap, and thereafter, what is expected of a person who is pumped with bullets? He falls suddenly, is it not? But he, what he did, that actor, he folded his newspaper properly, kept it on the table, and slowly lied down and died. <laughs> so the director said there is no life in your death <laughs> die properly <laughs> exactly the same way when we are doing something are we acting or reacting if that actor has really acted he would have suddenly fallen down is it not this is acting when bullet goes inside you don't get the chocolate <laughs> no it, it is immediately you die in the same manner whether we are acting or reacting this we have to find out so first principle of karma yoga is we must stop reacting we must start acting see cinema actors they are not called as cinema reactors and when you are an actor you get name fame money everything now try this take when you go home from your work carry even plastic recyclable flower and give it to your wife honey darling this is for you i love you only acting you don't have to love <laughs> and then that honey also should say that i was in the bottle because of you i came out would it be in the honey farm so it is just an acting now how do we act be attentive we all have to play many roles in life we have to be the wife the husband the mother the mother in law the daughter in law so many roles we have to play so every role act see if you are playing the role of an officer for no reason start becoming angry <coughs> because you are an officer but when you come home you remember you are no more officer you are a miserable husband therefore submit satnanga dandavat 
you will be a successful person in life. What happens? That we are not acting, we are reacting. Therefore, in the second chapter, Bhagavad Sri Krishna says that we all have freedom to act. See? Karmande vadikaraste. Ma phale chukadachana. We have no control over what is going to happen in the future period of time. Be attentive. We have no choice but to live in the present, number one. Number two, we cannot live yesterday, we cannot live tomorrow. Number three, all the activities are done always now. Activities are not done yesterday. Activities are not done tomorrow. Three. Fourth. If we are performing all our duties happily, we can never be miserable in life. Because we are happy always in the present. And if we are happy and in the present, we are one with Bhagavan Sri Krishna. See friends, this is the secret of Karma Yoga. Don't imagine after I do this thing, then I will get that thing and then I will be happy. So what we do, we are postponing our own happiness in the future period of time. Those who are happy now, they alone are all happy always. How simple it is. Normally what we do? We do something to get happiness. Don't do that. Then whatever we have to do, do it happily. See how simple it is. Whatever we have to do, do it happily. Means what? Every action must be an expression of happiness. See? When you are walking, walk happily. Not somehow dragging abadilahi to the gaya to. See? GK kya karenge. And such people, they don't die also. <laughs> At least die, be sincere. See? Anything we do must be an expression of happiness. See? When you walk, walk happily. When you talk, talk happily. When somebody asks me a question, hey, how are you? Ah, Jinda hai. You ka parne wale ho. Maro. It's a very simple technique, Karma Yoga is not something great. Let every action, let every word and let every thought express only happiness. You have learned all the scriptures. Ananda deva kalvimani bhutani jayante, anandena jatani jivanti, Upanishad says, we are all the expressions of bliss. See, if the ornament is made out of gold, what will be in that ornament? Only gold. Nobody know we made the ornament out of gold, but when it came in our hand, it is made out of steel. Why it happened? This is called as the grace of the um, jeweler. He has eaten away the gold and given you steel. See, friends. Therefore, there is nothing that can justify that we are miserable. Nothing can justify. Even if you are married, you should be happy. See? Like, you know, in this world, there are two types of people. Those who are happy and those who are married. <laughs> Once you recognize this principle, 
he has learned everything about karma yoga so if every action is an expression of happiness now next step happiness is a creative strength anything which is done happily is never a useless second class performance see today i went to somebody's house for uh, you know evening tea or coffee whatever it was i don't know and then that amma told me swami ji since yesterday we are cooking for you so i knew it is only the left door of yesterday that i am going to get today <laughs> so many things why because because one is happy like in many houses i go and then uh, I say, Anna Data Suki Bhava. Really, you have given me good food. One husband said to his wife, "Kindly don't give me the same food for one week." Samini, <laughs> you should come to our house every day. Then we get good food. <laughs> okay. Then I tell them, I say, "Look here, if I come every day, I will fall in your line. <laughs> if I come once in a while, then I am happy." See friends, anything which you do out of happiness, it will be the best performance. See friends. Therefore, first principle we have learned: karma is born when action is associated with the sense of doership. We all have to do so many things in life. Therefore, so many kinds of doership and doership. is belonging to somebody third principle so first is action second is doership and third who is doing this the doer doers so when i am with somebody that time i have to be extremely aware at this moment what i am now take bhagavad gita first chapter in the first chapter arjuna starts arguing with bhagwan krishna how can i kill my grandfather and my guru that is his argument therefore i should withdraw from the battle bhagwan krishna didn't agree because on the battlefield you are neither a disciple nor a grandson you are only a warrior but identity crisis came and therefore what is my duty that is confused see friends we get confused of our duties if there is an identity crisis so the secret of karma yoga is remember all the time as to what we are at the given period of time if we remember this principle see which father doesn't know what is his duty towards his children every father knows but the father in sanskrit is called as pita pita means father but he is still of remaining as a pita he is pita all the time <laughs> he will forget and then he will not be responsible towards his children so what is the problem the problem is we forget for a moment our identity at a given period of time so the secret of karma yoga is always remember as to what we are and according to that position whatever we are supposed to do do it cheerfully and happily rather than blaming anyone in this world see one day one person asked me swami ji you who talk on vedanta can you tell me in one line what is vedanta i said vedanta is discussing how the world is bad and we are good this is vedanta no 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 you always make fun but tell me really seriously what is vedanta i said this is the vedanta in vivid chudamani it comes virajya vishayam prata dosha drushtyam murmuhu swalakshe niyata avastha manasah shamochate look upon the world 
with an eye of seeing the defects. And when you see the defect in something, then you don't run after that thing. See? That is why they write, I don't know here, in India they write on a cigarette packet, cigarette smoking is injurious to health. In Europe, here also they write? Yes. Okay. In uh, Europe also they write smoking kills. Why this is written? So that even if one person is likely to leave cigarette smoking, it is good for him. So whenever we see something bad in something, we will not run after that. This is a simple technique. Therefore, Vedanta tells, don't run after this world. This world has been always like this. There is nothing new in this world. We are here to discover our essential nature. And if that we have to discover, we have to take care of, not the world, take care of our own mind. And for taking care of our mind, it is here the Karma Yoga principle comes. See? Karmani Chitya Shuddhyartham Aikagryartham Upasanam Moksartham Brahma Vijnanam Iti Vedanta Dindima It is said, Karma is not done for improving the society. We have not created a society. Why should we worry? You take care of yourself. See? So, how do we take care of ourselves? Now be attentive. When we do something in this world, there are three options where our attention can be focused. For example, I am talking to you. This is an action. Now, where is my attention? See? There can be three options. Number one, my attention is on you. Whether you will change because of my lecture or not. This is one place of my attention. Second attention is on myself. I am giving a good talk. What do you think? And third attention will be on my mind. Before I began the talk, during the talk, and after the talk is over, is the mind exactly equanimous as it was before the beginning of the talk? Or in and through the talk, the mind is totally distorted and frustrated, angry and completely shattered. If this happens, then I am not a karma yogi. A karma yogi is the one whose attention is on his mind all the time. Just take this point. Before we do anything, are we at peace with ourselves? Or we are extremely excited all the time? See? Or are we remembering some regrets of the past? Or we are worried about the future after my lecture, what people will think. See? So before we do anything in life, first of all, take care of the equanimity of the mind. It is something like, you know, the barber. The earlier days, barbers used to come to home. And they will be coming with their bag and there is one razor and there is a stove. Before taking the victim for whitewashing, they will for 10 minutes do like this. And then talk about the whole world, whose bahu is like what and what are the problems in other houses and all that, you know. And it is a very good communication, you know, better than email. <laughs> And he is taking care of his razor so much because that is the instrument through which he is functioning. After the job is done, he just doesn't throw it away. Again he will nicely do it, then on a leather because after using on the leather, then he can use on the skin, you know. Therefore, and then nicely keep it. What is the instrument? with which we come in contact with the world, our mind. 
how much attention we have given in our whole life to take care of the mind we have taken care of our houses gardens and uh, all the clothing matching the sandal is red and then the sari is red and uh, your what you call those things is the hand hand cups they are red <laughs> <laughs> and then this the tikki that is red hair also red a total communist <laughs> why matching how much time we are spent in our life in taking care of the figure of our body फिगर की फिगर होती है एंड हाउ मच एफर्ट एंड टाइम वी आर स्पेंड टू टेक केयर ऑफ अवर माइंड यू हैव बीन कमिंग टू गणेश एंड भगवान श्री कृष्ण फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स नाउ डोंट आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आंसर इन योर माइंड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एनी वन ऑफ यू हैज आस द लॉर्ड ओ लॉर्ड make my mind so pure i should not have hatred even in dream even once even for fun for anyone in this world let my mind be so pure that you find it as a right place to descend have we ever done this for us because there are thoughts in the mind we are thinkers see most important thing in life is the mind its quality and if we are doing karma and because of that karma if our mind is getting spoiled it is worth that you don't do anything but take care of the mind. and what is the taking care of the mind when we have some duties towards anybody do your duties cheerfully and happily see don't expect i have done so much therefore in the old age my children will take care of me forget about that they have got better things to do than to look after the old ladies <laughs> but we become then frustrated and dejected and if you have zero expectation from your children and if your children happen to take care of you it is a bonus but if you have i should get this thing that thing if they don't do it then you are frustrated see friends therefore the more you become aware that whatever we are doing in our life our attention is neither on the world nor on i the attention is on the quality of the mind before doing the job during the execution of the job and after the job is over the mind must remain intact it should not get disturbed i have been talking here for last 39 minutes out of 39 minutes how many minutes you have been hearing me ha huh? because even this is not heard our mind keeps on running here and there it is never available to us karma yoga is a technique by which we liberate our mind from the old habits see how the habits are formed first of all habits are nothing but likes and dislikes and likes and dislikes have no reason no logic see when the house i went and the mother was telling me swami ji please tell my son to drink milk he doesn't drink he wants tea and coffee what should i do so i said hey why don't you take milk he said i don't like so simple 
This also I learned from the child. You know, one of my highest uh, professional hazard is I had to take three meals in one day in three different houses. And then you can imagine what is the condition of my Madhya Pradesh. <laughs> <laughs> and the ladies think that I am in Dabba, Baro. <laughs> so I ask him, why don't you like the milk? I don't know, I don't like the milk. So this technique I learned from the child. So when these Ammas give, uh, Swamiji take this thing, so I tell, I didn't like it. Then they don't give. If you tell them sincerely, I am through actually, I cannot take more. No, 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 take little more. But see, if I take more, I will die. Never mind, please take more. <laughs> <laughs> they make you miserable. <coughs> Therefore, when we are living every moment of our life, are we clearing the likes and dislikes from our mind or we are strengthening the likes and dislikes? See friends, I don't like milk. What is the cause? What is the reason? I don't know. I like tea. Why do you like tea? I don't know. I like tea. Now this I like and I don't like. Behind this, there is no reason, there is no logic. And our total life is lived only under the influence of personal likes and dislikes. And we consider ourselves to be wise. See, in somebody's house I went, a couple married for two or three years, I went to their house. And when I was sitting, I looked around like this and then I took the TV and started. So that lady came, Swamiji, we know what you have seen. I said, okay, then keep it with you. We have not painted our house. This is what you have seen. I said, I have not seen. It is already obvious. I don't have to do any special thing. Do you know why we did not uh, paint this house? I said, I don't want to know. He will ask me, you paint. Who will do? <laughs> <laughs> that is your house, you keep the way you like. Give me coffee and I will get out that seat. <laughs> you know, my husband, he likes light cream color. And I like light pink color. And when we got married, we decided, unless both of us agree, we will not do anything. And that is the reason we are not able to paint. I said, I can solve your problem very easily. What is that? <coughs> you paint this house blood, uh, blood red color. I said, don't shout. Tell me, do you like a wife, Uacha? No, I did not like. Very good. Husband, do you like red color? No, I don't like. See, you both agree. No, <laughs> <paint color. laughs> Liking and disliking has no foundation. And all our life is lived only under the influence of likes and dislikes. And as the age grows, our liking and disliking become stronger and stronger. See? And more under the influence of the likes and dislikes, stronger is the ego. Stronger is the ego, more miserable one is. And when we are miserable, we don't like other people happy. A miserable person never likes a happy person. See, one lady one day caught hold of my collar, that's why I don't have a collar. <laughs> Swamiji, what is there for you all the time? Be happy, be happy, be happy. Get married and show, be happy. <laughs> See, they don't like anybody happy because they are miserable. See, friends, come to cognize this principle that are we functioning under the intoxication of personal likes and dislikes or we are doing what is right to be done. 
this discrimination is the secret of karma yoga see friends when something has to be done whether we like or we don't like it is not a question now a young girl gets married and a child is born now who will like to clean that dirty thing of that child see but then the mother immediately she is ready to do that because she knows she has to do it and as a result who likes to wash somebody else's dirty ladies but the mother can do it because she has to rise above the likes and dislikes see friends therefore the secret of karma yoga is function in this world in such a manner that our personal likes and dislikes do not influence our performance in this world see friends life becomes very easy but i don't like or i like it no there is nothing like that and slowly when we start this our likes and dislikes will become lesser and lesser we will be more accommodative when we are more accommodative be very attentive we become disturbance proof see for us little bit things they disturb us so much try to recognize this principle refuse to be disturbed by anything in this world one thumb rule i'll tell you those who are disturbed and miserable because of others they are fools of the highest order see then how do we look at the disturbances make a fun of the disturbance and make the disturbance disturbed you don't get disturbed see it's very simple but what happens for us A small little things are enough to upset us that is why many people when they do meditation it is a big you know torture they will be sitting don't disturb my guru ji told me do meditation early in the morning take cold water bath and then start sharing and that is what that kundalini awakening <laughs> oh, what happened kundalini ud gayi <laughs> and then they were sitting and nobody should disturb board outside meditation in progress take a detour and you know you sit quiet switch off all the lights so that nobody sees you are sleeping <laughs> <laughs> and then you sit for meditation and then in your bathroom the water drops on a plastic bucket Tap. Oh God! I told these people they never listen to me when I am doing meditation. Tap. They never understand that Papa is doing meditation. Tap. But why they are not understanding? I don't know. Tap. I think I am the only un, uh, you know, unwanted creature in this house. Tap. <laughs> It goes and disturbing, disturbing, and something happens. The water dropping stops. Now, why the tap is not coming? <laughs> <laughs> we are never disturbed for something great in our life see bhagwan ram krishna paramahamsa used to cry mother today also you did not talk to me see we also cry subha chai nahi mili i did not get tea in the morning there was no bed tea bed tea is for bed bugs it is not for human beings see therefore friends keep an eye on this mind whether we are under the compulsion of likes and dislikes or we have reason about the likes and dislikes and when this happens we are not disturbed by anything in this when we are not disturbed then we act when we are disturbed we react see very simple
सिंपल थिंग इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट डोंट मे कर्म योगा मी समझ ठेरी बोला हाँ कर्म योगा इज अ चैनल ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ इनहेरेंट जॉय इन एंड थ्रू एवरी एक्शन वर्ड एंड थॉट एंड दस वेन अवर माइंड इज एट पीस नॉट गेटिंग डिस्टर्ब देन दैट अनडिस्टर्ब माइंड इज available for something higher see and when the goal of our life is higher small little things in life they don't matter us at all see we are miserable never because of something great we are miserable for useless things very simple technique and in this manner yogina ha karma kurvanti sangam tyaktva atma shuddhaye so all the activities are meant for purification of our mind if the mind is purified we are functioning under the karma yoga if the mind is not purified we are functioning under karma roga not yoga Workaholics people, you know, they will be working day and night, blah blah blah, and they are frustrated, angry, and, and everything. I only can do. Nobody can do. You know, I don't know. Without me, how this world will move? Many people have this foreign notion. One old man said this thing. For the last few months, I am having a fear about my death and all that. I said, don't be afraid. I guarantee you, you will die. <laughs> Because fear will be whether the death will come or not. I said no. I guarantee it will come. <laughs> no, not that way. My fear is what will happen to my wife, my children, my property, my business when I die. What will happen? So I told, look here. You don't have to go and ask me or anybody. You go and ask them. They'll reply. Papa, we are waiting. Die no, quick. <laughs> But we think without us, this world doesn't move. Just watch your own mind. We know our parents. We know our grandparents. Some of us may be knowing our great grandparents. Fourth generation, fifth generation. Do we ever know? not even their names same thing is going to happen to us see like the dinosaurus has disappeared you and me will disappear <laughs> but we feel we are here for eternity see friends remember this prepare yourself to go for a vacation or going back from the vacation see this is the secret wherever i go i count down like here i have come to darbar four days so started 4 3 2 1 go <laughs> then i'll be in benoni another three days three Two, one, go. Don't count upwards. I know, seventy-eight. Okay, uh, but many people they say they, you know, average age limit has increased up to hundred. You know, so somebody is hundred. No, why should I be dying so early? Tulsi Das Ji lived for hundred and twenty-five years. Where is Tulsi Das and where is Dev Das? <laughs> Come to recognize this principle. Every moment we live happily. Ishavasya says, "Kurvan neve ha karvani jiji visheshatagam sama." Live in this world dynamically, never retire, and don't add years to your life. Add life to every moment of your existence. live fully cheerfully happily 
That is karma yoga. Karma yoga is not doing a lot of work and creating confusion. <laughs> Many times when people come to me and say, Swamiji, um, now I am free. I want to do something for you. Really? Yes, sir. Uh, but you should not say no thereafter, okay? Please leave me alone. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> See, unless we are capable, we cannot do anything. And to be capable, our mind must be available to us. If our mind is confused, if the mind is obsessed, such a person can never be an asset. He remains as a liability. Therefore, the secret of Karma Yoga is action plus doership is karma. And if the doership is required to live in this world, the doership should be well defined. Be attentive. If the doership is not well defined, then we will get involved in anything in this world and thereafter regrets afterwards. See, what is the defined uh, doership? Defined doership is our position at a given period of time in a particular place. Like here, I am, my position is that I am a speaker and your position is you are a listener. See? Now, if I forget my position as a speaker and look at somebody and suddenly I am reminded of something and I get lost in that thinking, then I am not doing justice to my position. Similarly, when you are listening, I hope, <laughs> if you are listening, are you listening fully? But while listening, suppose some example is given, then suddenly you go, Acha, my, you know, uh, my daughter-in-law, I don't know what she must be doing. <laughs> Immediately. One daughter-in-law, mother-in-law. Daughter-in-law went for the Tirtha Yatra and came back. After she came back, both of them died. And then they went to the heaven. And the mother-in-law was sent to the hell. And the daughter-in-law was retained in the heaven. So the mother-in-law, why it happened so? Because when the daughter-in-law was there in the various temples, mother-in-law was all the time thinking about she must be there, she must be there, she must be there. And the one who was there in the temple all the time thinking about all the time the mind is never available. See friends, therefore let us fix our mind on the job. Do it cheerfully and happily. Your ego will be dissolved. Then there will not be arrogance for the success and there will be no regret for the failure. Because whatever is done, it is out of joy. See? Like the other day, somebody told me, Swamiji, I don't like your jokes on the husband and wife. I said, that's your problem, not their problem. <laughs> <laughs> your problem. You sort it out. Okay. Thank you. Then I asked him, uh, are you married? He said, no, my face is like that. <laughs> Married man's face can be immediately seen. <laughs> there is a glow of regrets. <laughs> See? Therefore, Karma Yoga is working on the mind and disciplining, redefining our eye. And when we thus do this, the net result will be as we grow old, we will be withdrawn from the world. Be attentive. If we are really lewd, the life of Karma Yoga, dispassion in our heart is bound to be. Dharma te birati, yoga te jnana, jnana mocha prada, veda bakhana. Tulsidharji Maharaj writes, if he have really lived the karma yogi life, dharma means karma yoga, 
if you have really lived the life of a karma yogi, you will have dispassion for the world. Birati. Birati means vairagya. And when you are no more disturbed by the world, then you can think of something higher. See, second chapter of Bhagavan says, Prasanna chetaso yashu buddhi pariyavatishtate. The one who is cheerful and happy, he alone can think of God. The one who is frustrated, depressed, dejected, he cannot think of God. See? A person who is having, let us take, you know, a uh, root canal. And with a root canal, you sit for meditation. What is that meditation? Sentidental meditation. <laughs> All attention will be on the pain. When physical pain seeks our attention, mental pain is more miserable. And what is that mental pain? Mental pain is we become somebody. Don't become anybody. See, when we don't become anybody, the Kartrutva Viman. The sense of doership is dropped. And when that sense of doership is dropped, no karma is born. And thereafter, only happiness is expressed through us. Therefore, no saint has ever claimed that because of me, like Tulsidaji Maharaj, he has not written Ram Charit Manas for protecting Hinduism or for the um, um, distribution of the Rama story throughout the world. Uh -huh. He clearly writes, Swanta Sukhaya Tulasi Raghunatha Gata. Take care of yourself. If we, each one of us, take care of ourselves, the world will be most beautiful. But what happens? We want to improve the world. And what is the improvement of the world according to us? According to us, the improvement of the world is what I think is good, you should follow that. See, in every house, this is a regular problem. Youngsters, they keep awake for whatever reason and in the morning they sleep up to 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Oldies. They have never a problem to wake up in the morning because whole night they are not sleeping. <laughs> and then what is the goodness? They will say, come on, get up. This is very bad, you know. You have to get up early in the morning. You are not getting sleep. They are enjoying. Let them enjoy. No, no, no. They should wake up. I am doing it for their good. So our goodness is imposition of our views on others. See, if I am a teetotaler, if I don't drink at all, then what goodness I will think? Nobody should drink in this world. If I am a non-smoker, then what I will think? I will see that nobody should smoke in this world. If I don't watch TV, then what I will think? Nobody should watch TV. And this is what we feel, it is goodness. The real goodness is, if I am a smoker, and this happened in the, one of the trains I was going. One person took out a cigarette, and then he was seeing like this thing. The other person, he asked, do you have a matchbox? Yes, yes, yes. Then after this person who gave a matchbox, he also did like this thing. Now what are you seeing? Do you have a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> so, if I am a smoker, I want that everybody should smoke. If I am a non-smoker, then everybody should not smoke. That is not the way Karma Yoga is. Keep your attention on your peaceful, blissful disposition. Live 24-7 with this zero complaint level. And be happy. A Karma Yogi is never, never miserable. 
ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णमुदे पूर्ण से पूर्णमाता पूर्णमेवाशिष्य ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम